Hi, I'm Tom. This is Extreme Costumes, and this is a mecha tank. What's a mecha tank? A mecha tank is a miniature tank that's also going to be part robot. You might ask yourself, why would I decide to make a tank? Well, because it's cool. But making a tank is really nice, but it's no fun if you can't fight another tank. That's right. I'm hoping to make a dozen. That's right. 12 tanks. Maybe four teams of three each. Then we're going to have different games for them to fight against each other over. We're not going to kill the other tank. We're not firing explosives. We're not shooting guns. Capture the flag. King of the hill. Destruction of the other enemy's fort. Those will be the sort of games we're going to have. Our first one is a completely all steel design. So this is all beautifully weld together rigid steel squares. Future designs are probably going to be designed out of all aluminum, and that's going to save weight. But after I prove that the concept works, that thing dries around, it shoots nice, it looks cool, and it does exciting things, I'm hoping to make future ones better. We expect to learn a lot of stuff while making this one, because I've never met a tank before. I've been learning all about electric vehicles, and I'll tell you, it's a pretty exciting category. Optimally, this thing is going to be able to drive for about an hour straight on a single charge. It should be able to recharge in about 15 minutes at a Tesla charging station. We're going to armor the whole sucker head to toe, top and bottom. It's going to have a set of wheels on it that's going to be able to allow it to go over almost any regular terrain. Its top end speed should be no more than 25 miles an hour because, well, it's a homemade tank and I really don't want to go out of control. We're going to be able to put polycarbonate plates all around this level and that's going to allow me to have 360 degree field of vision. We're going to have five different monitors on the inside, which are basically backup cameras. And that's going to allow me to see right behind me while I'm driving on the road or down below me uh, so for up close positions. And also another one right down the gun barrel. Because when I have this facing that way, I need to know what it's looking at while I'm driving that way without having to take my eyes off the road while still being able to fire off to the side. This is a visual representation of the grenade launcher we expect to put in here. And a key part of this grenade launcher is that it's going to be a repeating grenade launcher with at least a dozen rounds. We expect to be able to put into this thing rubber bullets, smoke grenades, and nets. And what are the nets for, Tom? Well, the nets are if we end up fighting against them drones. Because drones is an advancing technology that's really moving along and in the beginning, I don't expect to have any other tanks to fight against, so I'm probably going to have to fight against some drones. When I'm done, I expect to be able to have these tanks fight against one another in orchestrated battles. And those battles ought to be a lot of fun, but they're going to require sensors to be put in different places. So that if a given area takes a multiple hits, we can then say we disable that area. If you shoot the turret too many times, maybe the gun stops working. If you shoot an arm, the arm stops working. We're going to have a couple of robot arms in the front can't capture the flag unless you get a robot arm to grab it. We got a lot of plans. We spent a lot of time working on this. And I think that when we're done with this, you're going to think it's really exciting. And that's why I want you to subscribe. Follow along with us.